In today's video, we are going to talk about my most addictive fragrances right now. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, today's video will be focusing on the most addictive fragrances in my collection right now. If you've never seen one of these videos from me, I typically do them every month. I did skip last month just because of everything going on, but typically I try to do these every month and I pick out the five fragrances that I just cannot get enough of. Now, does that mean they are the most worn? No, it means they're the ones that I keep thinking about wearing or wanting to wear or going to smell or actually wearing. So very broad range here. And I do that because I have a really big fragrance collection. And on top of that, I do a lot of testing of fragrances for you all. So sometimes I can really wanna wear something, but I end up wearing the fragrance that I'm testing as opposed to what I really in my heart feel like wearing. So that's kind of why I can't do like my most worn of the month because sometimes my most worn is just because I'm trying to get to know a fragrance or it's brand new to me so I'm testing it out also with that being said in these videos I typically try to only include fragrances that I've had for at least three to four weeks just because when a fragrance is brand new to me of course I'm thinking about it I want to wear it. I keep smelling it because it's brand new so these fragrances are all at least a month old um, actually I'm pretty sure all of these are way older than that for me <laughs> but i just wanted to let you all know the kind of rules i go by when i do these videos every month so let's go ahead and get into these fragrances so this first fragrance is from place des Lis, and the name of this fragrance is Vani. so this fragrance is a lemony vanilla i don't know if you guys can see my dent like look at that dent i've had this fragrance for probably three months <laughs> but i feel like that's a pretty good size dent on it for me i love this fragrance it's a beautiful lemony vanilla it definitely has this fluffy feeling to it and it's cozy without being heavy it is delicious smelling without smelling too edible it's just perfect y'all this is a softer scent if you're looking for a beast mode fragrance this is not it but i've been liking to wear this to bed a lot or around the house it just makes me feel really good it feels very cozy and delicious but still on that cleaner side as well um, i don't know about you all but sometimes when i wear super foodie scents they don't give me clean vibes at all for some reason even though this is a gourmand scent i feel like it sits on the clean side of gourmand because it's not too foodie it's not too perfumey and it just feels very fluffy and it is a joy to wear y'all <laughs> that sounds so lame but it honestly is and i've been loving this fragrance I've been wanting to tell y'all about this for a while. I have talked about it before when I do my weekly fragrance rotation videos where I talk about every single fragrance I've worn over the past week. I have talked about it in one of those videos, but I have not really talked about it in any other video, but this thing has been getting used by me especially for bedtime around the house that type of things so this is the first fragrance and typically i don't share any like layering combinations with you all in these types of videos i do share them when i talk about my fragrances that i wear over the week <laughs> i keep mentioning that video but i do share them in there but i think going forward for these videos that i do every month i will try to share any lotions or creams or oils that i use in combination with the perfume if it is relevant i'm not just going to make up stuff to layer for y'all in these videos i mean i can do a layering video if that's what you guys want to see but um for these types of videos if there's something that i always layer with the fragrance i am going to share with you so for this one what i've been layering with is this soap and glory the real zing body sorbet so this is like a body butter but it is on the lighter side it kind of looks like frosting i don't know if you all will be able to tell but um it kind of looks like frosting to me but this thing smells so delicious it is a bright zingy citrus like this is citrus but it smells so good it's not really sweet there's a little bit of sweetness to it i guess but it's not really sweet it's more so just bright and zesty and beautiful 
love this now is it the most moisturizing not necessarily their other body butter the almond pistachio one that one is a lot more moisturizing this one is definitely lighter it's a different consistency but it smells so good and it does the job for me my skin is dry on my body but usually I can get away with just using this alone if it's not a super dry day for me or I'll layer it on top of like an unscented body oil just depending on what I'm feeling like but layering these these two together oh, match made in heaven because this just really brings out the lemon in this fragrance and it just makes it project more i can smell it on myself more and it's amazing little combo so again that is place this lease vanille and soap and glory the real zing body sorbet the rest of these fragrances i feel like i've talked about them a lot recently but that's honestly because they are my most addictive right now so i'm being true to that so the next fragrance is one that i know i've talked about a lot since i got it but i absolutely love it this is montal chocolate greedy so i am late on the bandwagon for this nobody talks about this scent anymore i'm when I say nobody, y'all, don't take that literally, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, nobody talks about something and y'all want to name out all the people y'all ever heard mentioned. That's not what I mean. I just mean that this is not talked about a lot, okay? <laughs> I'm not being literal that nobody talks about it, but this used to be talked about a lot when I first started watching fragrance videos and I never purchased it never tried it it was always on my list of things i want to smell but i never went for it recently i picked this up probably about two months or so ago and i cannot mm, i cannot get enough y'all i'm gonna put the bottle down because it's super noisy but it is a beautiful chocolate scent and it also has some dried fruit in there so it's a little bit of fruitiness with the beautiful luxurious chocolate and it's a slight bit powdery and i think the powderiness of it although it's slight i think the powderiness makes it feel just softer and more well-rounded and luxurious it's not sharp i know montal gets a bad rep for smelling synthetic for the fragrance of smelling sharp but this does not fall into that category y'all this is a very well done chocolate fragrance it's so delicious smelling. I'm actually wearing this today, okay? Cause it's colder outside today. And I actually just came back home from eating lunch with my kids. And it just was, it was working for me y'all. Even though I was sitting outside and the sun was shining, because it's cooler, this didn't feel overpowering. And I was not super stingy with my sprays today. I didn't overspray a ton, but I sprayed, you know, I sprayed pretty good and I just love the way it smells on myself and from the bottle. And I just, I wanna chew my arm when I'm wearing this. <laughs> so again, that is Montal Chocolate Greedy. The next fragrance that I have is another gourmand scent and this is from Milano Fragrance. This is called Panatone. And I feel like I keep talking about this fragrance. I just keep talking about it. I love it. So this is actually a fragrance that was not a blind buy for me. I actually ordered a decant of this when I was ordering something else. And this was immediate love at first spray for me. Pretty shortly after that, I went ahead and ordered the full bottle and no regrets y'all. This is good. So to me, this smells like fruit cake, like a bready dessert with dried fruits. Also smells like there could be some raisins in there. And then it's all soaked in rum. <sighs> So good smelling. This is so delicious smelling to me. It's also nostalgic for me. It reminds me of a family member that has now passed away that used to always make fruit cake. And that's what I think about when I wear this. It gives me Christmas vibes and I just feel like it smells so delicious. This is not super heavy. So even though it is quite sweet and bready smelling, I feel like this can work year round. Although when I smell it, it reminds me of Christmas just because I associate it with fruitcake, which we usually have around Christmas time. But I feel like I could wear this year round. It's not too heavy. And then there's also a citrusy note in here and ginger that really uplifts the scent. So. I know I'm saying it smells bready, but think about breadiness with that zing of citrus ginger combination. It is delicious. Another one that makes me want to eat my arm when I'm wearing it, y'all. So again, that is Panatone from Milano Fragrance. 
So the last two fragrances I actually layer with the same body oil or body oils. So I'm going to share the body oils first and then I'll talk about the last two fragrances. But because it's for the last two, I figured I might as well get the oil out of the way first. So the oils that I'm talking about that I've been using for layering is this one from Nemat. This is called Vanilla Musk. And then also this one, which is in a bottle of my own. But this is from Fragrant Body Oils and it's their version of Tihota. So to me, these oils are interchangeable. These are like quintessential edible smelling vanilla scents. It reminds me of like a vanilla cupcake, but it's so good. And I've actually had this one longer from Fragrant Body Oils and I kind of really wasn't using it because I don't always think about using an oil. I don't always layer my fragrances with a scented body product. So it's kind of just kind of sitting in my little cabinet. And then I ended up getting this one because so many of you all have recommended this to me. So when I saw it on sale, I picked it up started using it and realized that these are basically the same. You do not need both of them. And I've been getting a lot of use out of these over the past two months. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's an oil. So I just pour like a tiny bit into my unscented lotion and mix that in and they both work really well. I would just say that the Nemat Vanilla Musk is definitely more accessible because you can pick this up at Ulta. And I believe somebody told me you could pick it up at Whole Foods as well. But if you would prefer to support a small owned business, also a black owned business, then I would recommend Fragrant Body Oils. Like I said, I put this in my own container because I purchased this in a roll on. They have several sizes. They make a ton of different sizes of their fragrance oils, but I purchased this in a roll on and I decanted it into a spray perfume bottle just because I feel like that's easier for me to deal with. I know I got this from Amazon so if I can link it I definitely will but it just makes it easier to use and both of these work really well. You could honestly wear them on their own or mix in with the body lotion but I use these for layering. So now that we got those out of the way we can get back into the actual fragrances. So next up I have Amouage Material. This is bay okay this is bay again i've talked about this a lot this actually made like my top fragrances of 2022 and for good reason this is a beautiful vanilla but it's an incense -y vanilla i believe it has frankincense in it and it just has this very resinous quality to it it has some spice to it it has some sweetness to it but it's not overdone sweetness this doesn't necessarily smell edible it's more of a spicy incense -y vanilla oh my gosh this is so, so good, y'all. This is so good. This is, to me, a perfect mix of being a niche fragrance while still smelling quite wearable. I know a lot of you all may be scared to try on the wash because you've heard their fragrances are so complex, and they are, and a lot of you all just don't understand the way they smell. I get that, but this is one that even if you feel that way, you should still get your nose on this because you may be pleasantly surprised. It definitely still smells niche. It definitely still smells complex but it's just so likable. Like I feel like who couldn't like this? It also feels like it has a little bit of musk in the fragrance that, that kind of just softens everything and it's just so well blended. I cannot get enough. This fragrance is so good and I would have paid full price for this. I'm pretty sure I got this on sale somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did because this has been on my list for a while and I think I ended up picking it up on sale, but this is honestly full price worthy y'all full price worthy and i'm saying that and this is what like 300 and something dollars full price um you don't necessarily need to pay that now because you can find this on discount and if i find it i will link it for you all but it's definitely worth the full amount of money that it costs so again that is amouage material and the last fragrance i have to share with you all is kayali vanilla royale sugar patchouli so this fragrance came in and was just all over youtube all over instagram kayali does an amazing job with their marketing and this one is just super good I think it came out probably about two months ago now, and I feel like not as many people are talking about it as they were, but this fragrance is amazing, y'all. So this is a vanilla fragrance, but it's not a basic vanilla. It's more of an earthy, slightly boozy, spicy vanilla scent. I do have a video talking all about this that I will link for you all, but it is not just a more intense version of Kayali Vanilla 28. Although I do detect some of the DNA of Vanilla 28 
in the deep dry down of this fragrance, but definitely do not get this fragrance thinking it's just gonna smell like a stronger version of that because it is definitely not. This is not a safe blind buy. This is different. This smells niche. This smells very high quality. This lasts forever. It projects well, and I'm just, this is just, very impressive. I think this is now my favorite fragrance from Kayali. I think it may be y'all. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just still enamored with it because it's so new, but I'm kind of thinking it may be my favorite now. I don't know, but it's good. I love it. Can't stop smelling it. I've worn it quite a bit since I tested it out. And that doesn't always happen because a lot of times if I test a fragrance for a video and I wear it back to back to back to back, then it ends up sitting for a while because I've kind of like over wearing it and I want to wear my other fragrances. But for me to test something out it, for one of those love like or let down videos and then continue to want to wear it says a lot. That speaks volumes for me and this, this is really good. I kind of wish I would have gotten the larger bottle, but it really doesn't fit into my setup um, because I have all 50 ml bottles of Kayali. So, you know, we're keeping it consistent, but this is, this is gorgeous. So again, that is Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. So those are my most addictive fragrances right now. Let us know in the comments below if you have tried any of them. Also, the layering combinations I share with y'all. Let me know if you like that idea of me sharing those with you when it's appropriate in these type of videos. Also in the comments, if you would share, what is one fragrance that you have not been able to get enough of over the past month or so? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss a video from me. I upload three times a week, so I have tons of content on my channel. Also, if you want to connect with me a little bit more, check out my blog. It's www.simplyaisha.com. You can subscribe to my email list so that you get notifications every time there's a new post on the blog. Also, follow me on Instagram. I love to connect with you guys in my stories and my DMs, and we keep it real chill over on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.